Welcome to Cisco's Internet of Things Training, Safety, and Security Module 4. I'm Elisa, and in this training, we will cover the importance of IoT and what it does for public safety. This is the last module in the Safety and Security Specialization Track. Before beginning this module, please make sure that you have completed the rest of the Safety and Security Training, which provides foundational information for this module. At the end of this module, account managers should be able to demonstrate knowledge of challenges faced by public safety, values delivered by connected safety and solutions, public safety solution opportunities in other industries, and next steps to learn more. In this course, we will cover objectives of public safety organizations, hindrances that decrease public safety effectiveness, challenges to adopting new technology, how CSS addresses each challenge, and CSS public safety opportunities in other verticals. Cisco's Internet of Everything is ideally positioned to fill all of the needs of public safety organizations. The Internet of Things helps them add functionality securely for mission-critical requirements as needed. It is the new platform that overcomes problems and barriers of other proprietary solutions. Big Data provides actionable information at the edge where officers can use it. It delivers greater insights that city managers, operational centers, and mobile workers need in order to better manage crime and crime detection. Cloud capabilities open up new consumption models so public safety organizations can reduce technology costs and invest incrementally in new technologies. Social generates more channels of communication and enables these organizations to relate and build relationships with citizens. It also creates new intelligence systems that can be integrated into public safety response. Mobility takes communication beyond voice capabilities to give officers greater situational awareness. It provides peer-to-peer -peer and group communications as needed to operate more effectively as teams when users are in the field. The Internet of Everything could not come at a better time. As cities grow, they face more threats than ever before. From burglary, robbery, and drug trafficking to terrorism, crisis, and unrest, urban infrastructure and the services that rely on it are increasingly stressed. As we've mentioned before, safety is the most important service a city can offer. Only safe cities attract the people, businesses, and investments needed to provide economic growth and development. When this service cannot be provided effectively, it causes an increasing number of problems for the city. High levels of crime make districts and neighborhoods unattractive to businesses and residents. When an area becomes unsafe, people move away. This lowers their investments in the area and slows the growth of that part of the city. As citizens and businesses take up residence elsewhere, the tax base dwindles. This decrease in revenue results in government budget cuts across the city. As budgets decline and the government spends less, it can no longer provide the services it once did, including protection. The lack of public safety services increases the crime rate, which begins the whole pattern all over again. To prevent this negative spiral and keep taxpayers and businesses from leaving, public safety organizations must maintain intelligence-led policing. Instead of reacting to problems, they must make every proactive effort to keep the streets safe and improve the quality of life of the city residents. This turns the negative feedback loop into a positive one as protected citizens become stronger communities. These safer neighborhoods and districts attract more families and workers that lead to growing economies. As companies and employee bases grow, the increase in government funding enables public safety organizations to provide more services. These services contribute to overall safer cities, and safer cities create protected citizens, creating a positive synergetic loop. However, as is often the case, other factors inhibit public safety organizations from doing their jobs. Often a lack of visibility and real-time response capabilities reduces the effectiveness of public safety organizations. Public safety agencies often still use antiquated and proprietary technologies that provide officers with limited resources. For instance, land mobile radio is still the primary communications technology of many public safety agencies. This technology is only able to transmit narrowband voice. Many emergency call centers still cannot accept text messages. These old technologies prevent information from being collected. 
In addition to old-fashioned communications, many agencies still rely on manual ways to process and store information. These manual processes prevent information gathered from police technology from being turned into usable crime-fighting action. If information is collected and analyzed efficiently, technology and process silos keep that information from being shared and used in meaningful ways. Interagency and interdepartment information is limited, further limiting the visibility of decision makers. These antiquated technologies and outdated processes create a lack of visibility and slow the response time capabilities of these organizations. Limited resources, limited budgets, and growing pressures from urbanization further complicate the matter. But Cisco's Internet of Things is uniquely positioned to address these challenges and bring public safety into the 21st century. We often think of police-updated technology as buying the fastest cars or more powerful weapons. But for these organizations, communications, networks, and devices are force multipliers that can greatly increase their situational awareness. The Internet of Things brings new technology that integrates with current and future systems. Increased automation replaces manual processes to make sure that relevant information is collected and analyzed to produce actionable results. The Internet of Things delivers new abilities to share information between officers, departments, and agencies. These technologies work together to create force multipliers that greatly expand officers' situational awareness and help them keep cities safe. However, roadblocks hinder the adoption of new IoT technologies. In order to connect, integrate, and secure new solutions, agencies must spend considerable amounts of money. This stretches already tight department budgets. With new BYOD policies, public safety agencies must ensure that new devices work with existing infrastructure. If technology doesn't work together, officers will revert to more reliable technology, making the new purchases a waste of resources. Communication is critical to an effective police force, and unsecure information transfer leaves users open to attacks. Maintaining security on these devices can often take a significant investment. New technology must meet regulations and follow open standard operating procedures. A lack of compliance opens up legal risks for agencies and can result in a lack of use of the new technology. Technologies that require additional management solutions use additional resources, decreasing the return on the agency's initial investments. But Cisco Connected Security Solutions address each of these roadblocks to bring public safety into the 21st century. We reduce costs by reducing the need for complex proprietary devices, high integration fees, and management programs. Our integration flexibility and scalability ensures that technologies operate together and can grow as the organization grows. Our pervasive security combines communications capabilities with the robust security of Cisco solutions. CSS has open standards to make sure that all technologies meet compliance standards. Simplified management reduces complexity to make sure new solutions take fewer resources to deploy and keep running. These solutions enable the distribution of management and provide the functionality that customers need. All of these features protect the technology investment of public safety agencies and provide great sales opportunities for partners. Let's take a closer look at how each of these features adds value to a public safety organization. A prison looking to replace communications and video surveillance technology may need to overhaul all of their antiquated technology and set up entirely new systems. By doing this, they add significant burden to already stretched budgets. Implementation costs increase this burden, and the operational costs of managing the siloed point product solution from different vendors continue to place strain on limited resources and budgets. But Cisco CSS delivers reduced costs through IoT-ready solutions. Commercial off-the-shelf mobile devices can provide many of the same capabilities as more expensive technology solutions. By implementing these instead of proprietary solutions, the prison can see a significant savings right away. These new devices can integrate with existing infrastructure to remove the need to rip and replace. Support costs can also decrease because Cisco provides end-to-end -end support services for Internet of Things solutions built from products from Cisco and our ecosystem partners. In addition to cost reduction, CSS delivers value when customers must integrate new technology. 
end-to-end -end proprietary systems boast amazing features and the latest technology. But they don't work with any other solutions, making it difficult to add new public safety features and capabilities as needed, such as secure mission-critical communications over LTE, P25 integration, BYOD devices, and new public safety apps. A court is locked into a one-vendor solution and uses only that vendor's proprietary technology. This prevents control over their own communications network and limits their choices of upgrading technology. To improve the system, they must rip and replace every piece and start over, a significant financial backset. But Cisco CSS delivers integration flexibility. Because of the standards-based nature of Cisco IoT solutions, organizations can integrate with both existing and planned technologies. This prevents them from vendor lock-in and reduces the cost to implement the latest crime detection and prevention technology. Public safety agencies and systems integrators can use open standards and SDKs to embed Cisco PTT communications into mobile apps. A mobile app that maps the locations of first responders, for example, could have a button to start a PTT session. The ability to integrate becomes especially important in the area of secure communications. An agency looking to upgrade communication abilities from LAN mobile radio provides officers with new smartphones and public safety apps delivering location, situational awareness, and confidential information. Public safety agencies are also increasingly using data from city sensors and applications and enabling BYOD policies. However, public safety solutions must provide end-to-end -end security across all mission-critical operations. By using proprietary point products, the limited agencies are more susceptible to cyber attacks that can compromise officer and civilian safety. But Cisco CSS delivers pervasive security across all IoT solutions. The same precinct uses proven Cisco technologies to provide a secure and reliable communication solution. Agencies can upgrade their analog voice system with Voice over IP, an open solution with less expensive support costs and endpoints. They keep their existing base stations and repeaters and implement open standard solutions in order to gain increased security without forklift upgrades to their entire radio or network infrastructure. EtherStack channel controllers, for example, can be used to upgrade radio networks that are end of life or out of support. This enables them to continue using existing two-way radios, saving them thousands of dollars. Any new purchases include digital IP-based technology that connects and integrates with all current systems. Cisco provides cybersecurity solutions to provide and manage devices and network infrastructure as part of an overall public safety solution. This secure communications technology is even available when officers bring their own devices. A police force should be able to use secure communications and apps for public safety with BYOD, but the personal devices don't always integrate and interoperate with the existing systems. Officers call each other directly for reinforcement, but calls don't go through the dispatch center and are not recognized by the rest of the precinct. Officers are then left physically vulnerable because only the fellow officer they called is aware of their location and need. They are also open to legal issues by not following standard operating procedures. As procedures change, their locked-in systems cannot be changed to accommodate, forcing the organization to spend money and overhaul the system. But Cisco CSS delivers open standards. With open standards, networks can adapt to meet changing needs. New technology and personal devices can connect to a secure mobile communication Cisco IoT-enabled network to give administrators enhanced visibility into officer condition and location. Applications enhance officer ability to perform needed tasks, increasing officer safety and efficiency through improved situational awareness and additional tools for public safety. As procedures change, the applications and connections change accordingly and can be managed at large scale. Organizations no longer need to overhaul systems to meet new requirements or to accommodate changing technology. This changing technology needs a simple management solution. A law enforcement agency has a totally connected system, but managing the system requires considerable resources. The original system is simple, but whenever any new technology is added to the system, all existing infrastructure must be reconfigured to accommodate.
Management policies must change accordingly as new management systems are brought on board for the new device. Management becomes so complex that devices do not always respond properly. Officers discontinue use of their devices due to unreliability and miss out on opportunities for new crime-detecting technology. The lack of management also leaves devices more vulnerable to security threats. But CSS brings simplified management across all IoT solutions. By connecting devices to an IoT-enabled infrastructure and providing IoT security and application enablement, agencies can benefit from single, converged network and deploy apps with a single user interface. Cisco IoT can increase the adoption of new technology and proficiency rates of the users. Administrators gain increased visibility in order to securely manage user devices. They can push app updates and policies to ensure that officers have the most efficient ways to keep cities safe. As devices change, the management solution adopts them into the infrastructure. Cisco IoT Ready Solutions not only provide the ability to centralize management, but also enable the distribution of information and functionality throughout the environment. And CSS solutions add value in areas besides emergency response organizations. Look for related opportunities in industries such as education, government, and healthcare. Let's take a look at how Cisco IoT-enabled technologies have made a difference in these verticals. Katy Independent School District in East Texas is charged with providing instruction to upwards of 60,000 students through its ever-growing network of facilities. To carry out that mission, it employs a staff of more than 7,000 members scattered across over 50 campuses. Each school in the district has one uniformed officer on campus during school hours, and many deploy individual security cameras to monitor specific campuses. But this security system is no longer adequate. They need a method to improve physical security across all campuses and provide day and night surveillance. And they need to find a solution and deploy it quickly. CSS was able to help. KDISD deployed more than 600 cameras across eight campuses. They implemented Cisco Video Surveillance Manager and Physical Access Control and added Cisco IP Interoperability and Collaboration System. This improved incident response and gave existing communications technology new capabilities. The result? A constant stream of high-quality real-time video from pan, tilt, zoom, dome, night vision, and high-definition cameras located everywhere from classrooms, parking lots, hallways, and playing fields to the vast barns that house the livestock and equipment at the district's Agricultural Sciences Center. Best of all, this wealth of video is now centralized so that anyone who has permission can view it live or recorded from any desktop or laptop computer. During the day, vice principals and security personnel monitor the feeds, while at night, the KDISD police watch the footage. And scaling the solution by adding cameras could not be easier. They can purchase new devices and integrate them easily, without the worry of space or impact on infrastructure. To address opportunities in education, speak with administrators within the school and with local public safety officials. In addition to education, CSS also has public safety applications in government. Georgetown County in South Carolina spans 815 square miles and is home to 65,000 residents. With just 600 employees, the county actively seeks out technology to deliver government services efficiently and effectively. When the county began planning a new 79,000-square-foot judicial building, the initial design called for an analog video surveillance system, physical access controls, intercoms, and audiovisual systems. Additionally, they needed a solution that extends to incorporate courts and other office buildings. Despite its extensibility, Georgetown needed a solution that didn't require high management costs. CSS was able to help. After evaluating several IP-based physical security systems, Georgetown County selected Cisco. Approximately 60 IP video surveillance cameras provide coverage of the interior and exterior of the new judicial building. Cisco IP video surveillance and Cisco physical access controls brought all of the information together in a simplified way. Today, two security officers monitor the video feeds from all buildings using Cisco Video Surveillance Manager. They can also quickly retrieve archived video to investigate incidents and share this information with other departments. 
With this solution, they can ensure the safety and security of these buildings and provide greater citizen services. The county followed the Smart Connected Communities approach by extending it to other locations and needs to provide enhanced citizen services and increased workforce efficiency. For opportunities in government, speak with the Department of Transportation, Chiefs of Police, and Mayors. CSS public safety opportunities also exist in healthcare. Park Nicolet Health Systems is a large hospital healthcare system in Minnesota with 29 clinics and one hospital. They struggled to find a way to create the best environment for patient care and reduce the number of patient falls. The solution also needed to improve operational efficiency of the nursing floors by providing greater visibility. Limited staff added to the challenges, resulting in the need for maximum utilization of staff and higher care standards. CSS was able to help. They implemented Cisco Video Surveillance Manager to do video patient bed space monitoring over their existing network. They built basic video with enhancement capabilities to evolve for integration, workflow, reports, and value of information on an integrated platform. Third-party applications enabled them to take in alarms from patient beds and nurse call systems and highlight the videos on nursing staff monitoring screens. The IP camera-based system was designed to be replicated at other clinics across the state. The result is an efficient system to monitor patients that may be at risk themselves or may pose a greater risk to staff. This enables fewer nurses on a floor to cover more patients and provide better patient care more efficiently. All management and control is done centrally, yet information is distributed to those who need it. Address opportunities in healthcare by speaking with hospital safety and security directors, chief medical operating officers, line of business operators, and nursing staff. Once you identify opportunities for public safety solutions in any of these industries, follow these steps to help your customers create a safer future. First of all, contact your Cisco sales representative or your partner account manager. If you need help finding your manager, visit cisco.com slash go slash partner tools. Next, take your specialization exam to complete your connected safety and security certification. Finally, find out more about Cisco solutions and IoT at these sites. Slash IoT, slash safe secure, slash specializations. Thank you for taking the time to walk through this module. We looked at the importance of public safety within IoT. This concludes our session.